Streamlabs is sponsoring me to teach you how to post a either YouTube clip or Twitch clip on Instagram. Now there's a number of different options here for you. Instagram reels, a story, a core regular Instagram post. All of those are options available. And what cross clip does is it allows you to basically take the clip that you've made either from YouTube, copy it, or from Twitch, copy it, and then bring it over to crossclip.com, link below if you wanna check this out. You paste the URL here into the get clip section, you click get clip, and then boom, all of a sudden you're editing that piece of content and formatting it for Instagram, uh, depending on what uh, type of content you're looking to post on Instagram. Now for Instagram, you're gonna to wanna to focus, of course, on portrait format content, but obviously square format is going to be the most common for a lot of types of posts on Instagram. You'll need to select the right format based on your content and which posting mechanism you're using on Instagram. But portrait and square are the recommended formats uh, for Instagram. And so once you've actually exported your clip from CrossClip using the compile button, right up there you'll either have a portrait style clip or you'll have a square style clip and you'll be able to either download that to your computer and you'll also see a share option right up here on desktop but as you can see if you click share on desktop you won't be able to natively post the video to Instagram this way the way that you post it to Instagram is by using the cross clip app now if any of what I'm telling you right now doesn't make sense from creating a clip to putting it into cross clip beta, to editing the clip, and you're like, bro, you just skipped all the good stuff. I've already made tutorial videos on all of those steps in great detail. Go back and watch those on the channel first to catch up with me right now, because where we're at is we're using the mobile app now. Now that we've already exported our clips and we've compiled them, they're now automatically synced to the cross clip app, and we can now use them at our disposal to post on social media. So today, we're gonna to use a square format clip because that's the classic format for a lot of Instagram content. And we're gonna click one of our square format clips that is automatically synced from the desktop edit we did on CrossClip to our app. Now, you can review the clip here and you can click the share button at the bottom if you'd like. Now, there's gonna be a bunch of uh, options here for Instagram, including Instagram chats, Instagram feed, and Instagram stories. Now I'll show you how Instagram feed and stories works here. It'll basically shortcut you to be able to post on Instagram stories normally. Uh, as you see, it just takes you straight into the stories interface if you'd like. That's available on Android and iOS. We're gonna close out that. And also if you choose the Instagram feed option, that's gonna post into your main Instagram feed as a quote unquote traditional post, if you will. But if you want to access the Instagram Reels functionality, you're gonna to need to pull open the main Instagram app to be able to access that. So the way that you do that is go ahead and just slide on over to regular Instagram, and then what you're gonna do is swipe right, and then here we go, we're in the main Instagram app, and you see down there at the bottom, you can scroll over and choose to do a regular post, and so if you choose to do a regular post, choose your clip that you've created in the CrossClip app, and then go ahead and go through the posting process uh, that you would normally go through in posting any video to Instagram, where you're gonna choose your filters, you're gonna trim the clip, you can put a cover on it, et cetera. And then obviously you can tag people and add all of your metadata or decide to cross post to Facebook. You can do that if you choose. That is up to you uh, which options you'd like to choose there, okay? I'm not gonna go over how to optimize the clip. I'm just showing you how to post it. So that's a regular Instagram video. If you wanna post it to your stories, as you saw, I scrolled over on the bottom wheel here from post to story, and then that'll give you a whole new interface that you can use just for the stories function on Instagram. Once again, select your clip, either square or portrait format here stories obviously is going to be good for portrait format then you're going to go ahead and optimize the clip as you would any other story and you can choose where it's going to go accordingly got it cool so that's how you do the instagram story and then if you want to do reels you scroll over to the right and then you can choose reels 
uh, as the next option here. All three posting options are available here. You hit the plus button at the bottom and then boom, you're able to access the reels and you can choose either a square format clip or a portrait format clip depending on what you want. And you're gonna wanna scale that accordingly uh, depending and you can do trimming of the clip at the bottom, et cetera. And then you can click add and then it's going to add the clip on Instagram accordingly. Now there's lots of things that you can do to optimize uh, your reels and to optimize uh, your story and your post. This video is not about social media optimization. This video is just about how to get the video from YouTube, how to get the video into CrossClip, and then how to post it on your phone using those three options. Got it? So what you're gonna do, just a quick review here, is you are going to clip it on YouTube or clip it on Twitch, copy the URL, Bring it over to CrossClip and click Get Clip. Edit the piece of content in CrossClip, and when you're done editing it, hit Compile. Once you compile the video, it will be here on desktop for you to access, and it will sync over to the mobile app into your CrossClip app. Once it is in the CrossClip app, you can then either use the native sharing function in the CrossClip app to post, or the recommended method is just to go straight to Instagram to access whether, whether you're going to post it through the main post function, the story function, or the reels function, depending on what the piece of content is and how you'd like to share it to your followers. CrossClip just saved you a ton of time doing that, and I very highly recommend that you go through and make a bunch of clips in one editing session, if you will, on CrossClip, and then just lock and load them all on your phone. So throughout the week, you can just feed your followers extra content throughout the week without having to worry about going back to edit constantly. You'll have them on your phone, and you can just post them any time of day you'd like. Thank you so much for watching, and enjoy CrossClip, creators. Links below.